What if I wanted to open a restaurant? They're hard and they're brutal and they're specific, but I know how to do it. This would be a different kind of restaurant. What would we call this place? You know, there's so many shows that start out great and then devolve into utter garbage. I've seen it time and time again. The Umbrella Academy, Cobra Kai, Heroes, Grey's Anatomy even. The list goes on and on. And it seems that Hulu's The Bear is no different. The third season dropped and it's been, well, not great. But exactly what went wrong when season three and what can be done going forward? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is modern Hollywood. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out with continuing to grow and it's totally free. When the bear first started, it was a breath of fresh air among a whole bunch of stale, boring, and largely forgettable offerings from Hulu. It provided an interesting hook with a flawed character in Carmi and teased a checkered past and a fall from grace. The turnaround of the sandwich shop under Carmi's rule was astounding and a gargantuan effort following the death of his brother played by John Bernthal. Season 2 turned the sandwich shop into a proper restaurant worthy of a coveted Michelin star. The drama between Carmi and his hot ass doctor girlfriend was pretty decent too. Even his psychotic break that led to his distancing himself from her was handled very well both in terms of writing and story as well as Carmi's character arc. But then came season 3, which was, well, honestly quite trash. It was as if the writers had writer's block and couldn't come up with any kind of story and so they strung together a few episodes here and there. Mostly filler. The first episode played with almost no dialogue to the tune of Nine Inch Nails' Ghosts 5 together. The tune in and of itself elicits negative feelings all around as it was released during the China virus panic. So I can't say this played very well against this episode. The rest of the season, pretty much nothing happens. The showrunners waste an entire episode on Carmi's sister having to go to the hospital to deliver her baby, and nothing happens. Rather than move the story forward, the showrunners decided to just outright stall the car and or drive backwards. The plot of the excellent first two seasons does nothing in terms of moving the narrative forward in season three. We don't even get any sort of resolution or update to the second season's best plotline, the relationship between Carmi and the Doctor. This is very disappointing because it was the strongest element of the second season and it was largely wasted. I myself am very disappointed and have been largely turned off from the show. There's only 168 hours in a week and my time is very precious, so I don't think I'll be tuning in for the fourth season unless I hear about a return to form. But as it stands now, It'll be later in 2025 that we'll get another season, if we get it. The only plot element the third season seems to be building up to is the first official reviews of the restaurant and whether it got a Michelin star or not. To build up such a plot element, you really need to have some sort of payoff at the end of the season, and we didn't get that payoff. Does the restaurant suck? Maybe, maybe not. One thing is for sure, the third season of The Bear absolutely sucked. But what do you guys think about all this? Did you like The Bear? And what do you think about the latest season? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.